Hello and welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and the only TV network with free petrochemicals news show. At the end of today's daily news report, don't forget to click on the bell icon to subscribe to our free news channel. And if you like today's video, please remember to like this video by giving us a thumbs up. It motivates us to continue to bring you this free informative news service on a daily basis. This Friday, July 2nd, I am Tejal Hode. Our special news of the day is sponsored by Delhi-based New Plus Machinery. Let's start with energy and feed stock news. Crude oil prices spiked over 2.4% on Thursday on hints that OPEC and its allies are most likely to increase the crude oil output slowly than expected in the coming months. Also, the American Petroleum Institute's and Energy Information Administration's report of a crude oil inventory draw further supported the price rise. Brent futures surged by $1.22, settling at $75.84 per barrel while WTI futures bolstered higher by $1.76, settling at $75.23 per barrel. On Thursday, open spec naphtha prices marched higher by $17 US per metric ton at $684 US per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Firmer upstream crude and naphtha values pushed ethylene prices higher in Asia on Thursday. Tight product availability and stronger regional demand trends further supported the price gain. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to quickly tell you about the Polymer Update Academy. At Polymer Update Academy, we provide customized corporate training courses to assist you in expanding your knowledge in the petrochemical, chemical, pharma and allied sectors. The tailor-made courses will be exclusive to each business with renowned professors from the field of education with over 30 years of teaching experience conducting the courses. The objective of the courses is to provide operative professional training for you and your teams to help improve business processes and or products. Back to news now. Let's take a look at futures on China and Dalian Commodity Exchange for today. On July 2nd, 2021, LLDPE prices are higher by 40 RMB per metric ton at 8,230 RMB per metric ton. PP prices are up by 50 RMB per metric ton at 8,600 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices are higher by 30 RMB per metric ton at 8,740 RMB per metric ton. Before updating you on the status of plants, we wish to announce our dates to host the Global Race, Recycling and Circular Economy Virtual Conferences in association with SP Global, SP Recycling and SP India. Race Asia Virtual Conference is scheduled to be held on 15th and 16th July 2021. This is where the world's top recycling experts will gather to address the pain points of Asia's plastics recycling sector. The theme of the conference is recycled applications and their collective end use. In plant news, Yanchang Petroleum Yan and Energy and Chemical Limited is likely to undertake a planned shutdown at its 450,000 metric ton per year HDP unit located at Shaanxi province in China in mid-July 2021. The unit is expected to remain offline till early August 2021. Our special news of the day is sponsored by Delhi-based New Plus Machinery. Established in the year 2009, New Plus Machinery is a manufacturer, exporter and supplier of filler master batch machines, dispersion needle machines, palletizing lines, plastic extruder machines, etc. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video on Monday to know more. It is Friday, July 2nd. I am Tejal Hode. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Polymer Update and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at Polymer Update. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon.